Oh yeah, looking good. Look. Oh. Um. Hey, hey everyone. How are uh, how are you all doing? Doing great, I hope. Um. <laughs> but uh, welcome to the space age. We're here today. We have some fun things in store. Who else? We already have a couple of viewers here. That's freaking awesome. Love seeing people. I already have three likes somehow, uh, even though it just started. But so glad to have you all here. I'm going to see if I can try to like get myself whispering, but also it's right on the, uh, the edge here. Red Ops. Red Ops, good to have you. Thanks for coming uh, again from my previous... I know we talked a lot in the uh, the previous one about, about Metro. Glad to have you over here. Greg, my man Greg. Greg, is that GeoGuessr God? Greg, GeoGuessr God, GGG. <laughs> good to have you here. Um, I'm trying to whisper, but I'm also trying to stay in frame. My microphone arm is kind of like god let's see if i can do something like this and make it work red ops rgb red ops are you are you nico in in the discord just trying to make sure i have all my uh all my names names correct i'm trying to just know who is who uh we got that i'm trying to put like a little note or something just so I know who is who but uh, today we got we got something fun we got something real fun I mean this was uh, I knew it red ops the power of deduction we are doing we're gonna put together a Lego set I'm trying to see how this can be live streamed well you know, Legos were, was always something that I just really enjoyed, especially as a kid. Um, I'm not like the most creative person, so I was never great when I just had like, you know, maybe this might be some nostalgia for folks, but like a, just a giant like dre uh, uh, chest full of Legos. Like I had a hard time like designing something myself. But I always liked following the instructions, something just about following instructions and just kind of chill, putting together something slowly, and it all comes together. Hey, Shmoop. Shmoop, good to have you here. Going to build a Lego too. Huh? What are you going to build? Like, like right now. You're going to build something right now. Um, but I, I had, I had built a Lego in a long time, but I recently went to the store and I found a couple of these like cars, these like speed champion series, I, I guess is, is what it is. Um, a couple different cars. I have this McLaren. Uh, I have a uh, Ferrari and I have like a Audi rally racer type car. And I thought, you know, these are kind of small. Um, it might be good for, you know, the, like a, a, a stream. So I thought, yeah, let's do this. I'll pick them up. Um, it's a spaceship. Yeah. I mean, so a couple of weeks ago, I got for my birthday a, uh, uh, a Star Wars Lego construction. Uh, I just had, you know, put on some music or something and... I just had so much fun, just like a chill weekend or chill, you know, a couple of hours putting it together. Yeah, here we go. This is uh, the, the Y Wing. What was the biggest Lego set I've built? Yours was the Friends Copy Shop, which is about a thousand pieces. <sighs> um, I. I think this was 
hundred pieces, maybe maybe four hundred something. Um, I but until I built this a couple of weeks ago, I literally I, I hadn't had like a brand new Lego set and just built stuff. I don't know, ten years, maybe. I'm trying to even remember as a kid. I. I don't even remember as a kid, you know, maybe 500 or so, a couple Star Wars ships, I had like a bunch of loose Legos, um, but I really like following the instructions, yeah, you can modify it, yeah, that's a good point, that's pretty fun in Legos, just modify it as, as you want, um, again, I'm not too creative, but, now oh, I hit myself in the head, <laughs> but I had fun, uh, uh, building this, that's for sure, Y-Wing, and then it has like, oh, what's up, Blazer? Good to see you here. It has a couple of fun things, like I can, uh, it's probably gonna be super loud, but I can like twist this little back thing and it, and it drops some bombs. <laughs> that holds a couple of bombs in there. Uh, let's put that back in. Also has like a little, uh, like missile, just like, I think you just like hit it. Wait, where is it? So like hit it and just goes over. Whoa! <laughs> uh, when I've heard that binaurally, like f bouncing around the room. Oh, it's it's down here. I got it, everyone. No need to worry. Let's put that back in the spot place. But yeah, this is probably the biggest that that I've built in in a while. Um. But like I said, it's really, it's been 10 years or more since I've, I, before this one, since I actually built a Lego set, so I'm just really excited. I'm going to go put this one back. But today we got, we got back from a, a hour and a half drive from a dentist meet. Did you win? Did you win, Blazer? And if you didn't, I bet you still tried your hardest. That's all that matters. Yeah, shots fired. Very cool. It uh, it actually has the moving parts, which is pretty neat. But I got I got the speed champions. We're gonna make this car now. Now I'm going to try to like tilt the uh, the webcam, the camera down. Uh, I'm gonna clear a little space on my desk here. And I'm gonna see how we're able to uh, uh, to make this. Yeah, that's uh, yeah the Y wing from Star Wars. That was that was pretty cool. It, just, it shoots things. Blazer, it's okay. I believe in you. I still believe in you, Blazer. I'm glad that you're here. All right, so let me try to do a couple things. So I'm going to tilt this down. Let's see here. stable okay all right hold, hold on i'm just trying to make it make sure it works oh, it's like falling over no I'm too far down oh, why is it not like locking in place now okay there we go i'll try to make this even it out That's pretty good. Ah, you crushed your first opponent, but the second one really good. You know, sometimes, sometimes they, they, they can get you, yeah, but all you can do is, is learn from it, right? All right, we're gonna move, this is my microphone cord. That's gotta stay there. Ah, I bet they were trying their best too. Everyone's just trying their best. So I think this is pretty good. I I want to make sure we still get the sounds though. So maybe I'll move the microphone down, but that might mean I have to talk in a more soft-spoken kind of voice. I wonder which is more relaxing. 
do you prefer the whispering or the soft-spoken type voice? Let me know and I can adjust the microphone as needed. But we got the McLaren Speed Champions. McLaren Cinna. If you were in the Discord, you probably saw a lot of chatting around <laughs> um, uh, F1. And I was just talking about how McLaren is my favorite F1 team right now. I have a need, a need for speed. Dude, honestly, those Need for Speed games were so good. Somewhere, I thought I had a... I'm not sure where it is, but I had a, uh, a Need for Speed um, Underground. That was such a fun game. I like the actual PC CD case for that. But we got this one here. It's 219 pieces. You know, not too much, but good for a stream here. Oh, this is so crinkly. Yeah, right, there's so much cool ones. Oh, this is so crinkly. Let's see if we can just make some real careful ASMR sounds real quick. Um, Need for Speed Most Wanted, the original one. Oh, that was so fun. Yeah, Underground, Underground 2. I think even like Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 was a fun one. But uh, Most Wanted, where you like got the progressively better cars, that was so much fun. And Underground with like the drift racing. I love those games. Whoa, okay. So this, this plastic is so loud. Okay, we have a couple different bags. And the instructions. Oops. Another little bag and some stickers that we can put on our vehicular. So it looks like it's based off of the actual uh, McLaren Senna right here. So they have a little reference, uh, reference picture right there. All right, well, uh, we'll set this, I don't know, somewhere over here. Well, not too much room, but let's see some points. Blazer, what do you mean by some points? All right. Are these bags? I don't think these bags are numbered or anything, so. Oof. It's so crinkly. I like just opening up the bag, so maybe I'll just, I'll just do that. Bags at a time, but these 
ones are not, so it's probably not terribly important if I uh, mix them up. Yeah, sometimes you don't have the patience to put together Lego sets. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, I sometimes I'm just like in that mood. I'm like, you know, maybe it's a lazy Saturday afternoon and I'm just like, yeah, let, you know, why not? Let's put this together. Don't have too much else to do. Ah, hello, Action Jackson. Good to see you here. We're uh, going to be putting together some uh, a Lego. We're going to be making the uh, Cinna, McLaren Cinna Lego. So I'm just dumping out all the pieces and seeing what we're able to do. everything except for the rims which we can put on the rims uh, I'm sure that's probably one of the last steps well we'll get there when it's complete but <laughs> the best time to do Legos is when you have other responsibilities to get to that you're procrastinating on yeah it's always like you know I could do work but I could spend three hours putting together a toy set. I mean, the toy set wins every time. But okay. Can this make any ASMR sounds? Not, not really. <laughs> All right, let's see what the very first instructions are. It says, empty the box. Empty the, uh, you know, can, can I read this upside down? Empty the box, empty the bags, celebrate even though it's not finished, and then put it together. I guess I can also go online to do it, uh, do the instructions on my phone if I wanted to. Yeah, I, Legos are a lot more expensive than you think for just some uh, um, like it's not even that it's just plastic right <laughs> um, I think this was like $15 um, the, the, the Star Wars ship was a gift so I'm not exactly sure how much that cost um, but uh, it, it wasn't too bad all right very first step is to put together the Lego dude. Oh, I found his head. I found his legs and his body. Ooh, here's his helmet and his visor. Okay, so let's put the let's put the visor on his helmet. Cool, cool. Let's attach his pants to his body head and we got mr. oops is, there we go we got we got mr. racer I guess he also has a wrench somewhere that he can use where is his wrench Let's see can, can I put the light closer that's almost too bright now that's pretty good oh he uses his wrench no that's not a wrench Got his little wrench. All right, we have we have Mr. Lego. That's the McLaren. This is Lando Norris or Daniel Ricardo. For all you F1 fans out there, we'll just set him aside for now. Here you go. Be over here, maybe. Looks like Christian Bale and Ford v Ferrari. Yeah, I've, I haven't actually, oops, I haven't actually seen that. Uh, 
Lego Coliseum for $550. 9,000 pieces. That would be so much fun. Uh, but that is so expensive. Just like how there's... Um, isn't like the Star Destroyer and the Death Star? Like the uh, two, two, two big... Uh, like Star Wars pieces that are so expensive. All right, I'm gonna have to turn this back to right side up so I can actually look at it. All right, we're building something. We need a six piece straight. Really? I mean, I, I would do a 9K Lego set. I mean, I, I wouldn't pay $550 for it, but, um, if I got it for free somehow, I would absolutely do it. Oh, you know, over the course of several weekends, I'm sure, but I'd do it. Okay, got our six piece. Now we need a curved piece. We got to put the curved piece on top of it, line it up. I'm gonna try to snap together the Legos. I need to find the right distance where you can hear that satisfying snap but without it being too loud. We put that together. Okay, another six piece. Combine it. We got this thing. Sticking out two places on one side and three on the other side. You enjoy building scale models. Yeah, I haven't really done scale models before. Um, Trying to see if I can make this. Give, give some more light at all. Yeah, not really. Um, I've seen scale models. Like, uh, are those scale models of like cars and stuff? Or, um, you know, people sometimes paint and glue, like, uh, um, what am I thinking of? Like, like Warhammer figures or like Gundam, um, Gundam things. You know, you don't have the patience, Action Jackson. Hey, well, that's everything that ASMR is about, right? This stream is 25 minutes in and I've built three of the 219 pieces. <laughs> All right, we gotta get the other curved piece. Okay, here it is, and we gotta put it on top so one piece hangs out. Okay, 1K is about your limit. Oh, models of tanks and planes. Oh, that's super cool. I don't wanna do the Death Star, cool. Oh, you put a picture in Discord. I just saw that pop up. Whoa. If you're not in Discord, you should join Discord. Um, yeah, if you're not in Discord already, you should join Discord and you can see the picture of the tank. Oh, that's cool. Did, did you make all of the, like, um, like the the background like the dirt and the trees and the grass and all that as well that's super cool so we've made like a loop thing all right we need two of the three length pieces oh nice you made all the background stuff that's that's really cool. It's like action shots. Do you ever have like um um like you can put like fire or like you know mid mid shot or something? There's like a, um, a projectile coming out of the barrel. That'd be so cool. Gentle gamer. Oh, so happy to have you here. Um, yeah, Legos are so much fun the pace yeah the terrain everything is super cool on that if you didn't catch that um we're talking about 
you know, Legos and other uh, models that people have built in uh, Red Ops RGB or Nico in Discord. Just put uh, through a picture over of what he was working on. It's super cool. All right, here is the three pieces. They go on the end here. Oh yeah, cotton ball. Oh, that's true. That's probably how you get the uh, the like mid action shot projectiles. He built a shy guy. What's your six year old for? Is a Lego Mario kid. Oh, that's so much fun. Um, I didn't even know that there was Lego Mario stuff, but I guess it makes sense that there's Lego of basically everything. But with, in case you didn't see, well, we're making this um, this car, this McLaren Senna speed champion all right we need two of the i don't exactly know what part of the car this is making but we will make it nonetheless all right we gotta put on two of these loop pieces another one here and match that and then put up snap these little it's like making like a little oops i broke it in half uh oh yeah super fast car we got like a this little round piece i don't exactly know like where this is gonna be but uh we'll see oh hey action jackson yeah thanks for joining <laughs> hello there Oh man, I just looked over again. It's a party. Oh, it's, I, it's awesome that my, uh, oh, and, uh, <laughs> you even did the, uh, hello there, um, uh, of, of the Obi-Wan. That's, that's perfect. That's perfect. So glad to have you there. I'm making you, um, I'm giving you the role of, cool people it says cool people ask how the trick is as soon as you comment at all you are automatically a cool person so all it takes to be the cool person uh, in my discord server is by being a cool person and commenting or chatting that's all it takes okay so it looks like we're making a whoa this involves a, a, a propeller why is I'm really interested to see how a propeller um, is going to be utilized in a car. All right, I got to gather all these small pieces though. So one propeller, um, two of these little like one step items. I need one of the little gear. Um, one of this little rod thing, this gray flat thing, a, a four by two with a little hole in the middle, with holes in the middle, there we go, and uh, an eight piece. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where is the eight piece? Ah, there it is. It's an aerodynamic testing thing. Oh yeah. Oh, this whole thing. I'd see this right there now. Yeah, there's like a, a testing mechanism here. Oh, I didn't even realize. This is not even part of the car. I'm not in too many servers. Yeah. Well, thank you. I mean, just my, my server, it's... Uh, <laughs> Greg coming back with the General Kenobi. Uh, perfect response in the Discord. Greg, you made a comment. I think that was your first comment. You are now officially a cool person role uh, in, in the Discord. I, I just made it. Um, <laughs> that's, that's awesome, though. Uh, yeah, the, the Discord, I mean, it's just a fun place for everyone to... Um, I mean, I just, I love the personal interaction here. So I, I usually, you know, we chat about whatever. I think we had some chats about, about F1 <laughs> recently. Um, 
chat about different games, chat about just whatever. I, I like just being um, able to uh, to ask questions or to answer questions that anybody has. So let's put together this little fan piece along in there. This here, that scene is so sick. Oh, got to turn it upside down and put the connecting little steps on this. Hmm. Trying to do it in a way where you can still see it. Okay, flip it back. So we have a. F a f we put the little base in the fan. We put the fan through this hole and we put the gear on the other side so we can spin the fan. <laughs> All right, then we go back to this and we can connect the whole thing. Awesome. So we, oh, I'm going to add the two little base pieces. And we have Do you ever just like press it too hard like you think you're gonna break it? It's like my fear. I'm pressing something and uh, I just like smash it to bits on accident. All right, we have our little testing our, our wind tunnel. That's the sound that uh, wind makes. I'll do the Foley effects. But okay, cool. We got the wind tunnel. Let's put that down over there for now. Now, it's the main attraction. We got we got the car that we're building. Okay. So it says start with start with the base piece. Is there supposed to be like this big giant base piece? I don't think I dropped anything. Yeah, that's ASMR. Yeah, I'm, I'm just straight up not seeing this like giant piece right here. So it's like I just need this. Uh, it's like this, basically the whole frame of the car. I imagine it'd be pretty big. Hmm. I don't see anything on the ground. Am I blind? Yeah, yeah, I opened up all the bags. I have four empty bags over there. And I think the opening I did was the only opening. Gonna check around a couple of places real quick because uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Box is empty. I'm just uh, I'll I'll be right back. Let me see if I can find it on the ground or yeah, it's you know it's in the box by itself, you know. The box was a little 
you can kind of see it was like dented up. It was like, I wonder if somebody, I was, I, if I recall, I was thinking that in, in the store that uh, it seemed like it was roughed up. Um, hopefully it, it wasn't stolen because it, it was kind of like dented in a little bit, but it was the only one of, of this car left and I really wanted it. But if it was by itself in the box, someone might have stolen it. Um, hmm. Let me see a couple things that maybe I was storing it in a closet. Maybe it fell out in the closet. I will be right back. I don't see it anywhere, but I pulled out my, my Ferrari model that I also bought with it. And maybe, maybe it might be in there. I don't know. I, I, presumably it might have the same base piece to it. Um, but I, cause I was like, should I buy this? It seems like it might've been opened a little bit so but I checked that the bags were still intact um, but if that big piece wasn't in a bag then I might have missed that I probably just shouldn't the piece was not in a bag oh <laughs> I think that piece might have been might have been stolen um, if that is the case, I think it might have been stolen. Uh, yeah, because I it it, it 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 was open a little bit, um, all all like dented in, and I think it was loose. Uh, yeah, gentle gamer, you can swear as long as you say it with a very calm cadence. Um, you, you just can't shout it, but but you can you can say it. I'll. I'll uh, um, I'll, I'll pretend like you said it in, in a very calm cadence. Yeah, yeah, obviously though, why is this not, it's just like press here with my finger to open it, but it's not opening. <laughs> um, internet police look at you, citation. I bought it like a couple months ago. I don't, I don't think I have the, the receipts anymore. then it was stolen maybe the people that um, the reason why it was open um, I, said, I thought it was okay because I checked all of the all of the uh, the bags and the, all the bags were intact but if it was not in a box oh, this body the Ferrari bar body is different um so that's not going to uh that's that's not gonna work i have one more option post the picture of the packaging oh i see yeah it's separate oh no what's oh, a good idea i have a friend that has a 3d printer maybe i can ask him have one more option all right I, I, I built um, one car as like a test I, I bought I bought three total vehicles the McLaren the Ferrari and this Audi now, 
I already put the Audi together. Now it looks like it, the, the base of the Audi is, is, is different. It looks like the McLaren one. Oh yeah. Uh, but I don't want to like combine things though, because like multiple parts, because then I'll, I'll forget what goes in the, uh, in the Ferrari. But no, the base of this one's also different. It's, uh, it's not elongated. Stock Ender 3 will do. What, what is Stock Ender 3? Oh no, my stream. Oh, I'll have to uh, talk to my friend that has a, a, a 3D printer then. Hmm. Well. I'm kind of at a loss uh, <laughs> for, for what to do if I use that one myself. Oh, and your three is the best consumer 3D printer right now. Um, I, I I don't know what my friend has. Um, hmm. Maybe if I can give him like a model of it or something. Open source AK of 3D printing world. <laughs> Next, and we put the McLaren instructions back in the Ferrari box. Hmm. Well, that sh surely throws a uh, wrench in my plan, doesn't it? Hmm. I don't think I have a receipt. I bought this maybe like March. <laughs> well. I, uh, oops, tried looking in the, uh, the closet back there. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Um, happy to just have a, a conversation. I don't know. Cause that was kind of like the base of it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Don't forget to hydrate. I'll have to see what 3D printer is one of my friends online. I'm missing a Lego piece. I'm messaging one of my IRL friends. If you can 3D print it, law. What printer do you, what printer do you have? Am I, I could, yeah, I feel like it's a bit late for the Ferrari, um, already being about an hour into the stream. Um, unfortunately, um, hmm. my son's fan, they're playing the Warriors. Um, I, I don't really watch basketball, NBA. I, I usually like keep up with the scores like after it's done. I say, oh, did they win? The Suns are actually um, doing very well this year. So that's fun. <laughs> the hubby started on 3D printers. Ooh, my, my friend does have, he has an Ender 3. Ah, Red Ops. Um, he, my friend does have, have an Ender 3. This is a two millimeter stock nozzle. We'll be able to do it. I'll have to try to find the exact piece. Okay. Uh, yeah, right? It's kind of... Hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, let me just... Uh, 
to make some ASMR sounds. Maybe. Just a handful of, I can't really show it, a handful of Lego pieces. Dara, oh, Dara, you just missed everything. What's up, everybody? Dara, you, you just, uh, you walked into uh, me building a Lego set, um, but the box not having like the main base piece of the vehicle. Um, so that kind of puts a, a big halt on, on my plans. We're missing this like literally the first component of, of the car. I built the wind tunnel. If that's any uh, um, consideration, <laughs> uh, but because uh, apparently that one didn't come in a box, just built something random. Oh, I, I literally, I, I have no creativity. It's it's bad, honestly. Um, yeah, yeah, I didn't have it because apparently that one didn't come in a bag. So when I when I got. Um, the box, it had like a, uh, it was kind of opened a little bit. So I checked all the bags and I saw that all of the bags were still there. But apparently that big piece doesn't come in the bag. Um, so they might have been taken. I remember thinking like, oh, it's open, but it's the only one of these McLaren ones left. Should I get it? That's what happened. Action Jackson, I'm with you. I don't really get tingles anymore either um, from YouTube videos. I uh, I think I just listen to them too much. I listen to ASMR like literally every night to go to bed, um, so I don't I don't get tingles. But it's very relaxing for me. Um, I like the salt lamp. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's not it's not mine, but it's there. Oh, this, oh, this thing feels real. This is like actually heavy. Like, um, I've seen like the fake plastic ones, but this, this feels like real, like a real rock. This is, this is heavy. <laughs> Let me see if I can, oops, I'm trying to like get my microphone more like out somewhere where we can, where we can look at it. Let me, I don't know. Oh yeah, you like my baseball videos because it's relaxing plus entertaining. Well, I'm, I'm really glad that you are able to, to, to find me from that. Destiny showing up. Oh man, I have to uh, explain all my issues again. Um, that was a good sound actually, okay. Oops. Feels like I'm just hitting a rock. But Destiny, you missed out on uh, Um, my, uh, I was literally missing like one of the main key components of, of the Lego, um, of the Lego set I was going to build. I think it might've been stolen uh, back at the store. So that kind of put a kibosh in those plans, but we're, uh, we're making the best of everything. Yeah. You know, when something doesn't sound cheap. Yeah. I know what you mean. Um, like, like I said, this, it doesn't like I've seen, um, I've seen like this, like the plastic looking salt lamps, but this is like, this is like a real, this is a real rock. This is, this is a, this is a real one. All right, gentle gamer. Thanks so much for, uh, for joining. Um, I know I always start so late, but I gotta wait 
this is the only time I'm able to, to do that stuff. But bye everybody, or bye gentle gamer, not everybody. I'm glad you enjoyed the 2020 MLB draft video. So, so many people um, found my channel through the sports videos, which is awesome. Um, I, I hope you all also like my, uh, uh, you know, non-sports videos. I can only make so much of those. Yeah, this is pretty heavy. My left hand's getting tired, actually. This is it's like a legit salt rock. No, I shouldn't lick it, right? No, 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 no. But, no, <laughs> that'd be weird. Just kidding, I, I did not lick it. Oh, hey, phone cord. I don't know if you saw me in the last couple of streams, but I uh, cut my hair and shaved my, or I trimmed my beard and everything. I was looking like a, a lumberjack or something crazy, but thinking it's, it looks pretty good now. All right, let's see, what else can we do? Will I do another one since the draft is in the, in the, in a month? Oh, for the baseball? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably do a, uh, um, a draft results video. Yeah, after it's complete. I, it, maybe it's, it's baseball, maybe because there's like so many colleges for baseball, maybe because there's so many rounds. I feel like I see a lot more about NFL draft prospects, um, than I ever do about baseball prospects. Like the baseball draft is like not the big spectacle and hoopla that the NFL draft is. Like, I don't even really see, like, mock drafts or anything. Um, at least not as popular. So, I, I really don't know anything about who's even um, available to be drafted. Mac, man, everybody's joining um, <laughs> afterwards. Mac, you, you missed out on, I was building the Lego set and literally the, the main base of the, uh, of, of the car that I was trying to build is, it just, just straight up wasn't in the box. I think it was, it was stolen um, out of the store. Yeah, I right. I I think for baseball, I think I usually just talk to like maybe the first one, two or three rounds, whatever sort of gets it to around an hour long in length. I think the uh my what was it? My NFL mock draft video, I spent like 45 minutes on the first round and then um and then not of much at all on the other ones. Isn't isn't the baseball draft like 27 rounds or something? It's just absolutely crazy. All right, well, hmm. I'll figure out what I can do here. I'm just gonna put this back down. You can see all my, my setup. So I'm just gonna put this stuff back in the box for now. You can get some sounds of it. Is that relaxing? I don't know. <laughs> One at a time. So Destiny, so it sounds like you're suggesting that I should go um, and steal a piece from from a from a set. Um, that's that's you have the same set that's mine. Yeah, I have like the the full like the the big length one um well you have the same okay wait so 
uh, uh, Dara, uh, Mac, and myself. Oh, this is so loud. You have the same mouse too, the Corsair? Yeah, Corsair. I'm not like a Corsair fanboy or anything, but I just, I mean, I got the Corsair. Um, this is the, I don't remember the number, but it's it's the silent version with, with the silent keys. You know, as silent as it can be for uh, for ASMR. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I think I wanted a full size one, and I just uh, this was this was pretty good. Your Red Sox have a number four pick. Oh, they have the number four pick, but they're at the top of the league right now. Let rich get richer. Yeah, I, right. I just like. I'm. I'm a. I'm not a fanboy. I guess I just kind of like. Corsair, like I, they just have pretty good quality. Yeah, exactly. Good price, good price, good performance. Kind of just worked out that way. Thanks, thanks, Action Jackson. Nice keyboard. I, for I, for I forgot the exact model number, but um, but it was uh, it's like the, the silence. Let me. What was it like? It's K ninety five. I don't know exactly. Yeah. Oops, that was pretty loud. Try not to make too much sound here. What's up, skills? How you doing? I'm I'm, I'm doing okay. We uh we got we got started building a uh, uh, McLaren race car, and uh, we found out that. Uh, one of the main pieces of the set was missing. Um, like literally like the base of the car, like literally like this step one of, of the car. Um, we found out that it wasn't in, in a bag. And when I, when I bought this, that's so loud, oops. When, it, when, I, when I bought this, uh, uh, this, it was kind of open a little bit, but I checked all the bags and it seemed fine. But, uh, the base piece wasn't one of the bags. Well, it wasn't in a bag, so it, it could have been. I think it was it was probably stolen. So, uh, trying to just, you know, salvage what I can of this uh, this live stream. Just having a chat with everybody, which honestly is is fun. Well, we got the wind tunnel. We did manage to be to build the wind tunnel piece of of the uh, the set before I found out I couldn't build the car. So let me just make that wind tunnel ASMR again. <laughs> That's the sound of wind. Let's get you back up here, fam. Sorry, that was weird. I shouldn't have said that. Um, let's put this. No, I'm so I'm so bad. I'm Destiny. I, I I literally I don't have creativity. Um, I it's weird. Like as a kid, I could. Well, I know friends of mine that could that could build a lot more stuff, but. Um, as a kid, I, I I was a little bit more creative, but now it's like, like that's why I don't play games like, um, like Minecraft. Like I can't just uh, I can't just build something. <laughs> I need like instruction. Yeah, people commenting on my keyboard. Oh, I can't really lift it up anymore. I can't lift it up that high. It's connected with wires and stuff. Um, yeah, who needs it? I think I missed a call. Was it? it uh, one from Greg from a while ago. What is my favorite type of videos to do? Um, I like a lot of my gaming videos. Um, 
I mean, I like live streams ever since I started doing live streams. Just having this interaction is just so amazing. I get to see people, um, talk to people in real time. It's just been so much fun. Um, but, but actual videos, like I love it when I find just like a perfect game for ASMR, which I think my Call of the Sea series that's currently uh, ongoing is, is a really fun one. I love just the perfect like, yeah, maybe like sub 10 hour game so I can have like, you know, six or seven parts to it it's like a it's like a mystery i love the mystery type games where i'm able to sort of as i'm playing talk through um sort of what i'm thinking um and like and we're sort of like working together through all the clues and we're able to finally solve the mystery um and a lot of the gaming videos too you know the sound designers of the games they put in so much work so there's like the beautiful sounds of maybe like the ocean or like the music or just a lot of um, really fun sounds oops there's a piece on the ground it's not the missing piece um, but there's a piece on the ground i gotta make sure i don't miss this that'd be what if i just like stepped on the ground and it was it was that piece oh my goodness against the table that was so loud yeah doom just like death metal bro um yeah the most friendly soundtrack there is ah what else what else i gotta oh i can like almost see myself the reflection myself in the video <laughs> Yeah, the Edith, Edith Finch series. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Some of those like calm, you know, walking simulator or um, the like very light puzzle, like Call of the Sea. Um, you know, finish it in like six, seven series, or uh, yeah, parts. Uh, very good mystery. I'm glad you liked my Edith Finch series. I think that was really good for ASMR. Dara, I'm glad you enjoyed the rainy season. Um, like, there's just so many just indie games out there, or just any game that just has... It's perfect for ASMR. Let me see. What do I... What do I have? Um, I have... The rest of the Call of the Sea videos. I have a couple... Um, can it be ASMR videos? Those ones are fun too. The can it be ASMR uh, game series where I take kind of just like random games and I see if I can play them in a way that is relaxing. Um, th those ones are a lot of fun as well. What was the last one I did? It's so bright now. But, um, what was the last can it be ASMR? Oh, is it? Can it? Oh, yeah, Wreckfest. That was fun trying to play like a Demolition Derby game um, in ASMR. Slay the Spire. I was my my Slay the Spire video. It was crazy. I, I was expecting to just do a playthrough, but I ended up winning that whole playthrough. Oh, yeah, I did Fall Guys when it was popular. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, Destiny. My mind just, just works a different way, I guess. I don't know. I can't just, like, visualize, um, like, a building. I can't just, like, I can imagine in my mind what, like, a cool building would look like. But, I, like, any, like, I've never been able to draw or play music. I just, I, I can think of things, but I just can't, like, put them into reality. I can't take them from my brain and put them on paper or anything like even um, um, 
like I, I was really good at the game, the, the rock band, you know, that like video game where you have like a drum set and you can drum along or you have guitar. I was really good at that, but that, you know, the only way I could make music was if I'm following exact precise notes um, that were coming from the screen. Uh, I can't just like make up something. I don't know. It's just the way my mind works. I guess my mind just wants to like, because I'm, I'm working all day. I think I just want to like, you know, check things off. Like go here, do this. Yeah, Mac, my uh, NBA draft videos. Yeah, I uh, some of those old ones, like 2018, 2017 maybe, my first sort of set of uh, NBA, NFL, MLB draft videos, like, were huge. Like, those, those really accelerated the launch of my channel, that's for sure. Red Ops Kingdom Come has a lot of very ASMR friendlies. Yeah, I think that was a fun one too. The Can It Be ASMR Kingdom Come. And then I think, um, did I do Kingdom Come ambiance video? No, I did the Treasure Hunt video. That's right, that's what I did. Um, treasure Hunt, Treasure Hunt. Oh, and one, just one hour of exploration. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I don't know if you saw, I did the one hour of kingdom come deliverance background noises and expo exploration and then i did a behind the scenes video of how i edited that one hour of background exploration and then i did a behind the behind the scenes of me editing the video where i edited the original one hour of relaxing exploration that was that was insane I wish I wish those ones got got more views because they just like went down the rabbit hole so so incredibly much um but uh the developers of Kingdom Come Deliverance Warhorse Studios um they actually shared my video on their Twitter and Facebook of my 1 hour of relaxing exploration which I think was like really awesome of them um I got a a bunch of views real quick you found my channel from my 2018 NFL draft video, so I'm right. Yeah, yeah, those ones. Um, my top video, I want to see what is my top video of all time is still my 2017 NBA draft, draft results. Wow, with 41,000 views. And then at ASMR Sports Broadcaster uh, Baseball, where I was kind of uh, talking along as a broadcaster, but almost 40,000. Um, surprisingly, my, um, my uh, uh, the video that's been still doing well was my uh, binaural road trip passenger, where I just took a camera I had it look at the road while I was just driving along for an hour. Um, that is one that's like consistently, it's, it's all, right now it's like always my most viewed, viewed video um, with about past month, 2,300 views. So it's just like consistently just like getting higher and higher. Destiny, you only play casual games because of your brother. You grew up playing COD and other shooting games and you don't want competition. Yeah, I, I mean, I still play competitive games. Like, I've been playing so much uh, Rocket League. That's been my main competitive game that I've been playing. Um, I usually have, like, one or two competitive games that I play, like, with friends. Like, I... I cannot play a competitive game by myself. It's just not fun to me, just playing Call of Duty or playing Rocket League by myself. It's it's just, it's not fun, fun for me. I don't know. I only want to play those with friends. So when I'm by myself, um, I usually have a single player game or two that I'm currently playing. Like right now I'm playing uh, Hand of Fate um, Hand of Fate 2, which was free in the Epic Store. Mac, he said, this may be a strange question, 
but do you only do you yourself experience ASMR or do you only make these videos? Um, I, I don't experience ASMR anymore, but I think that I, I definitely used to, but I, I listen to ASMR literally every night to go to sleep. So I feel like I've, I've been desensitized from ASMR. I don't really get triggers, um, anymore, but I definitely watch ASMR, um, every night, really for multiple times a day. If sometimes if I'm just working on something, I have it playing. Um, but I really do it for the like relaxation component or helping me sleep. I don't get the ASMR, but I can definitely still get the relaxation. Like for me, when I'm going to, to bed at nights, I feel like my mind just, it's like thinking about all these random thoughts. It's like, man, blah, 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 blah. And I just can't go to sleep. So I turn on ASMR and it gets my mind, instead of thinking about all these random things, my mind can focus on, on one thing. And when that one thing is relaxing, like ASMR, my mind can focus on one thing. And if it's relaxing, it can fall asleep. Sometimes it takes me like 30 minutes or an hour to fall asleep some nights. So that's why I, I hate it when the ASMR video is like 15 minutes long because like I will, I will probably will not have fallen asleep by then. Um, and I'll have to like look back on my phone and pick a new video. So that's sort of why all my videos are like around an hour long, just because personally that's the length that I like to go for. Greg, you're a big Rocket League fan too. I'll have to, um, what, what rank are you, Greg? And what do you play on? I play on PC. I see a lot of PS4 players on Rocket League. I don't, I don't think I've seen like, is there Xbox crossplay with, with PC? I don't know. Um, my, my rank in Rocket League is like diamond. I'm in, I'm in the diamonds. I know a couple people, um, definitely play Rocket League. I might have to have like a, I'm considering doing a, uh, can it be ASMR for Rocket League and maybe like a Rocket League. I have some replays, uh, replay, uh, saved. Maybe I can do like a commentator style, uh, of video with Rocket League. I don't know. Your PS4. Nice. Nice. Yeah, we, we could play. Maybe, uh, maybe I can organize something. All right, Matt, Mac. Hey, have yourself a great night as well. Sleep tight, rest up. Um, <laughs> everything. You could play Rocket League on PC, but you can't hit the ball. Um, you know, you could, uh, you're, you're just faking. That's what it is. You're just faking. You don't know your rank. Your friends have gotten pretty good. That's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I play Rocket League a lot lately. Like, um, try to do all the tournaments that I can. Uh, one person in the Discord, uh, uh, Marky Mark, or uh, Morky Mark, or Morky Mark, um, his Twitch channel is all about uh, commentating Rocket League games. So um, definitely some Rocket League fans in the Discord. I might have to have like a, a Discord, you know, game night or something. I don't know. Let's see if we're able to uh, able to stream that somehow. I'm wondering how I could do that. Your fingers can't find the keys, man. You don't have a computer good enough to run Steam. Yeah, I mean, I do have a real beefy PC that I built myself, um, so that's nice. At least most games, it's like, it's like W A S D for like movement. And then usually it's just like Q and E. It's to usually like the same couple of keys for every 
uh, PC game and then the mouse. So it, 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 I think it's pretty easy to learn. But even if even if you can't, um, like Xbox controllers, um, you can just hook them up to your PC. And if you're used to a controller, you can still use that. That's the benefit of PC. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just wondering how. Yeah, I think that would be fun, Greg. I'm just wondering how, um, like, I want to be able to talk to all of you in the game. But I don't know. But I need to, like, I want to hear what all of you are saying back. But I, you know, no offense to you all, but. It might not be the most ASMR friendly if we're talking in our normal voices, or I might talk in an ASMR voice as well. Um, I don't know. Maybe just get everybody to try their best ASMR voice, just whispering. Hey, by the way, what do you think of my like soft-spoken voice right now? I know I usually whisper in all of my streams and my videos. But sometimes I just like doing it soft-spoken, too. A lot of my favorite you uh, ASM artists don't really whisper, I noticed. I'm thinking like Ephemeral Rift, Phoenician Sailor. They are more of a soft-spoken. Okay, good. I'm glad that is good as well. Um, I'm trying to just do it in a relaxed sort of cadence, taking my time with what I'm trying to think about or what I'm trying to say. I'm glad that it is also relaxing. Yeah, okay, good. I don't know if people have a preference between soft-spoken and whispering. Yeah, we can get six players that can spectate it. Yeah, I can just do accommodating like, oh, Dara goes for the pass. Wait, I'm back. That was weird. It, my, my, uh, my OBS, um, froze for a second. Okay, I think we're back. I think everything's good. Yeah, good whisper. Yeah, what a save. What a save. What a save. Chat disconnected for five seconds. Um, faking. Yeah, I guess I... I usually whisper, because I can get, like, real up close to the microphone. And, uh, you know, it works like that pretty well if I'm, like, doing something that's on on the screen where like you don't really need to see my face um but in some streams like i i don't want to just be like right up in the microphone this is kind of weird but if i need to like take a step back or something that's when i can do um some more soft spoken it's crazy yeah just the whole asmr thing it's like kind of weird I don't know, <laughs> just having people whisper you to sleep. Uh, great pass, great pass. Yeah, it froze for a second. That was something on my end. Um, I, I don't know why it froze, but it, it said to OPS disconnected, and then it like waited five seconds and then reconnected. Yeah, toxicity. What a save, what a save. I usually at least like if someone makes a good pass to me, I'll say good pass and, um, you know, nice shot, but yeah, weird concept, weird concept. Someone like whispering you to sleep, but I don't know. It's like only my closest friends know I have a ASMR video or ASMR channel. Um, I definitely don't tell 
tell people that I have an ASMR channel, like people I actually know. Sometimes I might say I have a YouTube channel and I play games in a very, or in a relaxing way and I find the calming background sounds and I can kind of say it in a way that doesn't sound so weird. Um, but, uh, that's, that's sort of, uh, yeah, when kids try to do it, yeah, that would be weird. I don't know. At least you can be comforted by knowing that I am a certified adult whispering you to sleep. So nothing creepy about that. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I, it's, I, I don't know. Some people think it's really weird. I've definitely told some friends or acquaintances and they're like, whoa, that's super weird. And I'm like, oh, okay. I should not have told you. Uh, or I think I, I, you know, I told my, like my mom or something and I think she told my uncle and they were saying silly things about it or saying how weird it was like, oh, we all played your videos. And I'm like, oh no, oh no. Why did you play one of my favorite videos? Mom, mom, why? Mom, why did you tell other people about this thing that I do? Mom, why? I haven't heard about little kids whispering. Mac, kid and her parent making money off of it. Yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about that. All right, stay hydrated. All right, Dara, I'm so glad that you can join. Um, yeah, I have to do it pretty late. Just, you know, that's when I'm able to just sort of have my own little space here and make everything, uh, nice and quiet. So I, I know it's late, um, but I think it's perfect for folks to calm down or even maybe listen to in bed uh, as well. If they're, if they're falling asleep, um, I'm honestly getting a little tired myself. I, at a 7 a.m. meeting today. Ugh, why? That's so early. I had to wake up at 6.30, which I know a lot of people probably, like responsible people probably wake up at that time anyways. But um, <laughs> ever since working from home, I usually uh, wake up like at 8 a.m. and just kind of like roll out of bed and start getting, <laughs> getting to work. Um, <laughs> which is uh, not very, uh, very responsible. But um, I have to wake up like two hours earlier than I usually do. Oh, it's 7 a.m. Kid dressing up as sassy cop and mixing sexual innuendos. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, no, not a fan. Not a fan. That sounds, what is it like? Um, what was that controversial movie on Netflix? Cuties? Was it where it was about like child pageantries or like, I didn't actually watch it. I just know that there was a lot of controversy around it. And I, that's not something I want to see. Nah. Yeah. Mornings. <laughs> Gross. Um, I don't, I don't want to see that kid stuff. Um, yeah, I, I, nope, those, those are kids bad if their parents are doing it, but also just sort of bad if they're also just, just doing it. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to, to even have any perception of impropriety with, with children or anything. That's not a good look. That's for sure. See what else I can do. Got this. I have 
some random piece of paper and I have a letter opener. Will this cut? Oh no, it won't cut. It needs to be like a solid, like a letter. I'm just trying to think of ASMR stuff now. Does everyone here um, follow a lot of other ASM artists? What What are your other favorite ASM artists besides me? Of course, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm curious. I got myself. I I listen to. Um, I, it's weird. I I I don't know why my brain's like that but I usually listen to, to male ASM artists. I listen to Ephemeral Rift, Phoenician Sailor, um, Fred's Voice is another one that's pretty good. I listen to some of uh, the French Whisperer. I feel like I've seen the French Whisperer. Um, his videos are informative. Oh wait, maybe I'm, am I getting Made in France and the French Whisperer mixed up? Oh, I think I am. Oh, Dream Castle. Oh, Mystery Night, 20 stories. So he does like stories and mythology and stuff. Oh, I like that. Okay, yeah, I was thinking of Made in France ASMR that Red Ops just mentioned. Gibby, yeah, I, I think Gibby's Gibby's probably the face of ASMR. Honestly, um, that's cool. I actually I'm gonna give the French Whisperer a sub. Um, gentle whispering along the first ASMR trying to think there was this really random channel I believe it was called 3d in 3d that was back okay I had I had um it was like the uh, like the HTC um, it's not this one I was just love for a phone it was like the 3d phone where you could actually take 3D pictures and um, watch 3D videos on the screen. And I remember watching, there was a channel that did like 3D videos. I believe it was called 3D in 3D. Um, let me see if it was on, on YouTube. 3D in 3D. No results found. Hmm. Oops. Spelled it wrong, that's why. 3D in 3D. Yeah. Why that guy's still around. Crazy. Um but he also started doing like noise. Um like 3D like binaural noise, and that's when I first started hearing like binaural. And um uh so I remember there was uh, Kiwi Whispers was one of an early one I was subscribed to. Um, the guy from, from New Zealand. I'm not subscribed to him anymore. I, I think he took like a long break. Yeah, Gibby's the god. She's um, she's fine. I'm not subscribed though. Not my favorite. Yeah, I I'm subscribed to a very limited set of ASM artists. Um, but I always love it when I mean, everyone watching this, right, has sort of, it's easy to just watch the popular ASM artists and never really watch anything else. So I'm just so glad that all of you decided to give my channel a shot. Um, that's just super awesome. I really do appreciate that. Just coming in here and let me check out this space age guy. Let's see what he got. Let me do an evaluation. Hmm. 
uh, especially, you know, watching the videos and, and sticking around for all these years for everybody that started watching my videos in 2018, you know, sticking around for two or three, four years. That's awesome. I, I really do appreciate that a lot. <laughs> I don't know why I don't have more followers. That's what I'm saying, Greg. That's what I'm saying. It's it's slowly. It's it's building slowly. Like I gain s I, I I don't know why, but like most of my views and subscribers came from twenty eighteen. Like my first set of sports videos is why I got really popular. Um and it, I've never quite hit that same level of like growth. Like I, you know, I got like a lot there, and now it's like slowly, uh, slowly growing. Um, but I don't know. It, I mean, especially with these streams, I'm getting kind of a couple more um, subscribers. But it's just like it's like a slow, it's like a slow growth. Nothing's really like hitting it off. Um, you know, making like, you know, going viral or something, but it's difficult because ASMR videos can't really go viral because they're so niche as it is. Um, I try to post my, I post my videos on, on Reddit, usually like the gaming ASMR specific channel. Um, I don't know. I, I think I, I could, I could use a couple more followers. Um, make this a uh sort of a, a, a crazy if it can be a full-time thing I, I bet it's a full-time thing for gibby how many subscribers does she have gibby she has 3.3 million subscribers crazy absolutely crazy yeah greg you know i don't get discouraged. You know, I'll, I'll be honest. Sometimes I have felt discouraged. And I think that's just a reality, right? It's like, I think maybe last year or maybe the year before, sometimes I would go like a month without getting a single new subscriber. And I'm just like, what's the point, right? What's the point? But, but then people comment on my videos or you know, comment in the live stream. This is before the live stream, really. Um, and, you know, saying like, oh, this is so great. This is awesome. And that just like really just cheers me up. It's, it's what makes it worth it when people say the nice things. Um, yeah, I, mean, I have gotten discouraged. And that's, you know, it's, it's not weak to say that I have it. You know, it's, um, it's good to be open, even about the negative stuff and just talk through them. Right. But I'm glad that there's a lot of people that do like my stuff, which is so apparent by the conversations we're having here in chat and in the discord. Um, Destiny, you like your content minus the sports. Destiny, you were like the opposite of 75% of my of my fan base most of the most of the subscribers are here for the for the sports and i don't think watch the all, all the other videos which is funny um you found you from an absu video which is random didn't really watch videos for a while until i started commenting that's crazy my abzu one yeah i mean that's just another um game where i could uh um just talk through it slowly and that just had some beautiful background noises that was just so um fun to play and sort of talk through yeah and then i, I think um <laughs> don't worry about it destiny i i'm glad there's people that enjoy st stuff besides my sports videos um, i'm glad there's someone watching those as well um it doesn't matter who cares you can like you can you, you can be a i guess a, you know a girl like sports a boy that doesn't like sports so it doesn't matter um but yeah you know and i think for a while there i was 
I was like, well, I'm just, I don't want to record a video. I don't want to edit a video because it takes like a couple hours, you know, for each one. And I was just like maybe posting one video a week. And then maybe it was like early this year. I don't know why I almost got reinvigorated and I was like, let's try doing live streaming and let's try including my face in a lot of these videos. Let's be putting myself out there more. I think that might help with the interaction and this, the social nature. Um, and I think it has, I've had a lot of enjoyment doing stuff like this. Red Ops. Yeah. You came here from the Metro video. Um, Glad, glad you liked that that metro video. That was a lot of fun, just like finding all the uh, the, the ambient spots. The metro video is surprisingly having a good um, good following because you know most most um, videos of mine, I mean, or most videos in general, right? Like they get like a big a big spike when it's like first release, and then it kind of tapers off. But then some videos have like that spike tapers off and then seemingly out of nowhere, they kind of just like pick up again. Maybe it's the algorithms, but um, my Metro 2033 Redux ambience videos have like found that it's like, maybe they're just getting good in the search results. If someone types in like Metro ambience or something, um, but like it's really like, it's doing well in the past month. It had like a thousand views. Greg, did I ever play the backyard sports games? Did I ever play the backyard sports games? Wow, that's like so much nostalgia right there, Greg. Those games were my jam. I I had um, backyard baseball uh, 2001, I want to say. It included the actual pros. I mean, you always got to draft Pedro uh, first. I had, I played that one the most. I had backyard soccer. That was super fun. I had backyard football. I had backyard basketball. Um, I had, I think I had like backyard skateboarding, which was, I never really played that one too much. Um, I played so much of the backyard sports videos. That was like probably my most played games for whatever you know, age I was, 10 years old maybe. I don't know, like my mom might have picked it up at a store and said, I thought you might like this. <laughs> We're old, what is that supposed to mean? It's probably, I'm old. Backyard, okay, but backyard sports, it's literally made for kids. It's like, it's literally made for kids. So, um, I was playing it as a kid. I was the recommended age, age playing it. 2001, I would have been like seven years old or something. So, um, <laughs> that could be good nostalgia. I think I saw um, like a emulator or something to play it. Um, that could be pretty fun. I want to see how I can do live streaming of um, video games as well. The hard part with video games is that because the background noises can be unpredictable, I um, <laughs> I understand Destiny. Um, since the background noises are unpredictable, I usually have to like edit those sometimes heavily um, uh, in in before I post it because it might be like a really loud sound that I need to cut. Um, I'm just a little hesitant about doing a live stream of it in case there's like a loud moment, but I would really want to um, start streaming maybe some like really relaxing games, maybe like some like the simulator games, like like truck simulator. I was just thinking about how like um, Euro Truck Simulator 2 or American Truck Simulator would be a really good one um, to make a video with or to, or to live stream with because, you know, pretty mindless. I can play that while looking at the chat as well. 
which I think could be a lot of fun. Here's a question for all of you as well. Where do you normally watch your live streams? Like, do you usually watch on Twitch? I feel like there's not too many people that live stream on YouTube. Um, most of all of it's on Twitch. I figured I would live stream here since, you know, I have an audience already for all of my uh, my videos. I was wondering if I should do my streams on, on Twitch. I don't know. That's something I was just thinking about. I wonder if Twitch is, is better for live streams and YouTube is better for videos. I don't know. And which one is better at, um, you know, <laughs> you don't like twi Twitch culture. You don't like all the spamming of, of the, the emotes for ups. Excuse me. You use YouTube, but, but you're a square. Greg, you're not a square. You're watching my videos, and psh, that puts you there. Oh, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Um, good to see you. Yeah, I guess, but I guess that does make sense. Also, um, I'm sort of talking to a biased crowd here because I'm asking people on YouTube stream if they watch on YouTube stream or Twitch. <laughs> so that kind of was the reaction I'm getting. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to see what, um, you know, could, could get the largest audience, what has the better, um, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm, I don't, I don't want to sound selfish, but it maybe is a little bit selfish, but just, you know, in ways that for a live stream, a creator can monetize, right? I, I don't think it's selfish for, for wanting to see, you know, making a couple bucks off of this. Um, if, if I'm putting this much time and, and effort into these channels, I'm not doing it, you know, for the money. If, if, if I was, this is a terrible, terrible investment for the amount of hours that I put in. Um, I think I might get like, let me see in the last month, last month I made $23, everybody. A little insight. <laughs> um, I mean, just by ads, it's basically all I can monetize. And I'm, I, I know I, I see like, you know, like the, like the chat stuff too. Um, I, I don't know too, I don't use Twitch very much. Um, but I know people can like, like donate, um, well, I like, I like bits and stuff. And like, there's like the, the things that pop up on the screen that it's like, this guy's, you know, now following you or like reads the message or something. I guess YouTube has, what is it? Super chat. Um, if someone felt like donating, um, but I'm, I'm just, uh, because YouTube videos make a lot of sense. They have advertisements. Um, but I don't know. But I'm not trying to do it in like a selfish way. Like, I need I need the money, right? I'm just trying to just trying to just see if just if there's if there's anything, you know. Hopefully, it's not selfish of me for thinking about that. Um, I, I don't think it is. But in in a live stream, like, did did you? Did you watch a video before? Like when you clicked on the live stream, did it play an ad, and then, uh, and and then it prior to the live stream? I think that's probably the only thing. Yeah, unless someone chooses to do like um one of the fancy chats that I see a lot of the people doing. Um, I guess I'm not sure on Twitch exactly how it works. It might be ads. I don't know, but um. If I go to Twitch, though, I mean, I all all of my all of you, you know, you're watching me. You're here on YouTube. I already have my two thousand plus so uh, subscribers um, that are here. Yeah, Twi Twitch does seem a little more interactive, but I guess for all the big streams, it's like you literally can't you can't say anything. It's just too crazy. 
I bet a Twitch stream for someone my size would be like this, but I'd have to, there's so many people on Twitch as, as well. Yeah, yeah, that's fair, Red Ops. You use the, the browser, which blocks ads. Which honestly, I, I, I use an ad blocker as well, which I, I really, I really shouldn't. Because ads are very helpful to creators like me, right? So I wouldn't recommend blocking ads. You know, you can you can just 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 have just just my channel, not uh, not not have ads, <laughs> or to keep the ads. Um, but I, I mean, I do the same thing. They're just annoying. Um, but when I watch stuff on my phone at night, which I don't have a an ad blocker on my phone, um, I still see the ads and stuff. So I don't know. I know. Um, what is it? YouTube Premium, actually. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. I mean, I have an ad blocker too. Um, so just thanks everybody. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, on my phone, I, I don't see it. Um, yeah, yeah, like Patreon. I know a lot of people that do Patreon. The only hard part is like, I, feel bad like if people donate me money <laughs> i mean like like i have i have a pretty good job you know I'm, I'm not hurting for money or anything um i think a lot of people that might want to you know donate money um probably need it more than i do so i feel like ads are like a pretty innocuous way of getting like residual monies, I suppose. I, I I don't know, like without like it coming out of the people watching my videos, I guess it comes out of your time, but it doesn't, you know, it's your time and convenience, but it, it's not like you're actively giving myself money. I don't really need it. Just because you have to have a schedule and promise people this for this. So I've seen there's like a, a base tier for Patreon where it's like you can basically just it's like people can donate and like you don't have to do specific tiers um, if you don't want to. <laughs> I feel like I am sticking to a schedule for the most part. Um, like I'm trying to do a, a stream every t every Tuesday night and a video. I try to do it on Fridays, but sometimes if I'm busy, I post on a Saturday instead, which is like what I did with this call of the sea video. I was just, I, I think I was watching it. I was watching a Harry Potter movie and those things are like three hours long. So I was tired afterwards. I went to bed. I just completely forgot about the video. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I have a good job. I don't, I don't need the money, but at the same time, it's so rewarding seeing you know like just a couple bucks um from like the ads and going and seeing that i've i've made what i say 23 bucks this month and that's a meal <laughs> but it's um it's 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 just nice to see some sort of recognition yeah no i i probably won't go over to twitch um again because my i have like a built-up base here on on youtube and everybody that's subscribed to my videos can also see um you know my notifications when i go live and such so um twitch i'd have to start brand new and just hope that someone sees me there's so many people over there um that i, I really like i I have what six people watching me right now, which you know it isn't a lot, but there's so many people on Twitch that just stream for zero people because you know when you click on a game or something, it's um, sorted by the most watched people. So everyone usually just goes to the most watched and clicks on one of those. No one scrolls all the way down to the people with zero viewers. Um, so I feel like it'd be just as hard to build it up when. I've already invested so much time on YouTube that I think YouTube makes the most sense. I just just kind of seeing. I don't know. Just 
stuff you think about, right? Oh, there's a button that says insert ad. I'm looking at my like little YouTube. Um, I have like a control panel. I can see like my current viewers and like my stream and activity and stuff. There's a create highlight video, add a marker. There's a insert ad button. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I click that. Will it just play an ad it's for everybody? I, I like, I want to click that just to see, but I don't want to give you, give you all an ad. Um, I didn't even realize that was there. Insert. That's, that's a little weird. Just insert ad button. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, it just pops up an ad. What, what, what else, what else do you want to know? Since my, uh, my, uh, Lego building kind of fell apart, <laughs> broke apart. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm open for, 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 for Q, Q and A. I'm, uh, I'm an open book for the most part, besides things that, you know, would violate my privacy, I suppose. I want to keep some anonymity. And is that how you say it? An an anonymity. And, uh, yes, privacy. How do I feel about Dogecoin? Red Ops, how do I feel about Dogecoin? Okay, so I've been doing some more investing lately. And I believe this was in March, maybe a month or two ago. I had like $24 left over after investing in other companies. And I was like, I don't know, maybe I'll invest in Dogecoin. So I said, okay, how much can I get with $24? And I looked and it said, I can get 420 shares. I said, nice. This is destiny. This was, uh, this was, uh, destined. So I bought 420 shares of Dogecoin for five cents, five cents each. Um, and now I should have sold when they were at like 70 cents. It's at 50 cents now. So my $24 is now worth $207. So I should have bought a lot more than 420 shares. <laughs> um, but that's that's a fun, funny story. I think it got up to like almost $300, but now it's back down to almost $200. Um, I probably should have sold, I don't know, but I, I mean, I 25, 24 bucks. I mean, it's... Uh, it, it's that's I don't so much just want to keep the 420 shares just for the lulls, um, just to see like where it will go. I, maybe it'll be worth a thousand dollars one day, and I'll look back on those 420 shares and see what happens. 0.2 cents. Yeah, I never actually mined any Bitcoin. Obviously, I'm thinking like I should have, right? But I mean. What you have to think of too is like you say oh man if only i i i could have bought one bitcoin for 50 cents um you know i sold them at forty thousand dollars but realistically like you have all that hindsight but realistically once it went from 50 cents to like a five dollars you'd be like oh my god and like you would sell it the only people that got like super super rich off it are the ones that bought it and then forgot about it until it hit like twenty thousand dollars hello wesley how are you oh oi boy no tech i don't know what that means <laughs> um yeah i mean i, I should have bought <laughs> every single time i I put put money in the stocks. It feels like the stock market drops. Like I put I put money into it a couple of days ago, um, like on, on Monday, because it dropped a little bit. And I'm like, cool, I'll put some money in. And then it kept on dropping, and then it dropped more today. And I'm like, oh, dang it! 
I, I put in some money right before COVID hit in 2020 as well, and I just tanked it. I don't have a good experience with uh, with stocks. Um, yeah, I, I tried my. Uh, I've been doing a little bit with 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 options, which can be super risky, and I uh, I made a little bit of money before, and then I I uh, back maybe in February when like like weed stocks were were all the rage, I I bought a little bit. And then like the next day they went up like so much and I was like, Oh, I can make a couple hundred dollars. And then, um, um, I was like, okay, I, I won't just sell now. You know, I'm going to wait till it goes up even more. And then it just completely tanked and I probably lost like 90% value of, of that option. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So in an option though, that one's lost like a couple hundred dollars. On that option uh, I guess I still have until September or something but that one's bad and then at this point it's like oh, well, I'm not gonna sell now because it's just so low yeah pa Patrick uh, uh, sharing my portfolio my portfolio is I I have just made so many I've made a lot of bad decisions well it's mostly like the like the, the the options really and like the gambles i just got to keep my money um in like the the, the ones that i know that are going to go up and i'll be good it's like i do that and it's like it's like slowly grows and then i'm like let's do something fun like a weed option and then like it just tanks I'm like, well, there goes literally all of the gains that I made by doing some like stupid options trading or something. So my, my portfolio is not, not too big. I mean, I, I don't know. I got like 10 K in there. The usual, you know, tech market. We'll see. We'll see. 300% off Nvidia. That's really good. I should have put so I put in like so much money right before the stock market crashed in March of last year because of COVID um, I should have put a bunch of money into it when it crashed because it was just huge returns after that as it recovered over the next year but I didn't <laughs> but I didn't so I'm uh, my portfolio is one that should not be replicated should be avoided avoid my portfolio it's nothing but bad luck but maybe that could be a video idea but yeah <laughs> the dogecoin yeah yeah desi neo nope not sharing social social security number um and my bank account number um no sorry not not sharing that your college savings in the market um whew, risky risky write-offs um early yeah you know you can hope so um write-offs where you said you're not interested in american sports do, do you live outside of of america where do you where do you live Like generally, at uh, in uni, yeah, you, you don't you don't call it uni. It sounds like uh, sounds like you're not from from the U.S. Uni gave you a full ride. Heck yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Well, you do live in the U.S. Okay, all right football fair enough it's just weird i guess i never heard someone in the u.s saying i'm not a fan of american sports i mean i guess that makes sense i don't know just by prefacing with america sports um yeah oh, i think it's so sad about that that, that mclaren though 
but that's okay. I'll see if my friend can uh, can 3D print it. Well, hey, I, like I said, I, I had to get up for a 7 a.m. meeting this morning. Luckily, I don't have the same meeting tomorrow morning. But um, I, I think uh, I'm, I'm probably going to call this stream here. It was a good about two hours or so. Um, it's a lot of fun. Thanks for this Lego building stream pretty quickly just fell apart because I didn't have the piece um, that was mentioned on there. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do the Ferrari one next week. Um, we'll see. Make up for it somehow. Um, but <laughs> at least we're able to have this into like a fun just a, just a discussion. I like just having this. I like just talking about whatever um, and just having this conversation talking about whatever doing doing q and a's uh, i love all, the, all this fun stuff um but honestly i'm tired i think i need to go to bed i'll go listen to some maybe some of the uh the french whisperer c'est la vie Ooh la la baguette <laughs> uh pamplemousse Uh, a petit déjeuner. I know a, I know a very, very select few French words. Bonjour. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, thanks everyone for watching. Um, good just seeing everybody in the Discord. I, I love just being able to chat there with folks. Um, if you're not already, let me just send that again. Join the Discord. I think most people here talking um, are in the Discord. But um, it's so great just to see you all and, and chat with everybody. And I'll see you next time at the space station. Goodbye, cadets. Oh, yeah. It was so fun when someone um, suggested that I call my viewers the cadets. And like, you know, it's the space, I'm the spaceman, you're all in the space station, and my my viewer term is the cadets. I forgot some video, someone suggested that, and that was so great. Good job, recruits. Good job, cadets. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. <laughs>